Okay, tip of the week, um, adding wood framing to the building structure. So there's a lot of different ways to add um, wood framing or any type of framing to a building structure. We can model this individually with um, beams and columns, but that is definitely something that takes a lot of time. I've done it for very large buildings before, and it is time consuming. But when you want to get into some very specific um, framing options, then that's that's the way to go. So first we would use our column tool to place all of our columns and customize those shapes. And then we can place those and space them out throughout the project where we need them and creating openings for them where they are needed as well. Okay, but Graphisoft has made a really cool tool for us that can um, get you some really good framing in place with just a couple clicks. Okay, this isn't something that comes built into ArchiCAD, but it is an, a free add-on that is available to you. So by going to the Graphisoft website, we go to downloads, um, we would go to the add-ons, and we're gonna be looking for the goodies package, okay? This goodies package comes with a lot of goodies. Um, I always download it with each version of, new version of ArchiCAD. Um, so once we click download, you are going to choose the the country that fits your fits your needs the best. Um, for me, I use USA. Okay, and then you just go through the installer wizard. Um, pick whether you're doing a Windows or a Mac. Um, I believe with the new Macs that are coming out. You actually have two different options for Macs now. Um, if you have the Mac Silicone or the Intel processor, um, has two different downloads there for you. Okay, so once that's all downloaded, one of the things that comes in with the goodies package is the accessory library. Okay, so we're gonna need to load that library in. So to do that, we go to the library manager. We would come to the icon here to add we would navigate to our ArchiCAD Graphisoft folder system, go into your ArchiCAD 26 um, folder, and you should see your accessories library is a new option in there. So we'll select the accessories library, and then we need to reload and apply. Okay. So now by doing that, we can automatically place in some framed walls. So I am going to select all of the walls that I'm going to want to add framing to. Um, we can do this a couple ways. You can individually click and holding shift to select those, or you can do a find and select um, and create those um, identifiers to only select the walls that are going to be framing. Okay. And then we are going to go up to our design menu. So those walls are selected. We're going to keep them selected. Go to our design menu. Come down to design extra, extras, um, accessories, and then wall accessories. I will let you know this window, the, the menu system itself, um, the layout of the menu has changed slightly from version to version. So depending on what version you're using, um, the folder the menu structure might look different, but we are looking for design extras, accessories, and wall accessories. So you might have to do a little hunting in there if you are not using ArchiCAD 26. This example was set up using ArchiCAD 26. Okay, so I'm gonna click wall accessories, and then I'm gonna get this little window pop up right here. So these are the wall accessories that came in when we uploaded the accessories library from our goodies package, all right? So from here, we have a ton of different settings that we can start um, customizing how this wall is going to be framed out. We can change our stud size, our header size, what our spacing is going to be, what our connections will be between our framing. 
And if there are any fire stop settings, we can customize those as well. Okay, we can add 2D representation to this. Um, if we were to add a 2D representation to this, it would show on plan like this here. Um, it shows as a, I don't know, the walls flopped over next to the actual wall to show what that framing is right there. Okay, so now once we have all of those settings set, um, we would simply select any, any point on our layout. Um, you're gonna get the little eyeball that says to, to show it and then your walls are or your framing is placed the one thing i will add that i didn't get put onto the slide is make sure when we are back in our settings of our general settings window that we have this wall framing set to a structural layer um, so that way it is going to be turned on and off in the appropriate spots that we need it to be. So if we have a 2D representation for the wall framing here, um, we only want that to be showing when we're in a structural plan. So we need to make sure the wall framing is on a structural layer versus our um, generic exterior wall layer, okay? And then by selecting any um, of this new framing that we put in, we can view that in 3D in um, floor plan, we end up seeing our headers and our columns. All of our framing is graphically placed into the wall.